Biddy Mason said, The opened hand is blessed, for it gives in abundance even as it receives. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Tim Gustafson. In 1891, Biddy Mason was laid to rest in an unmarked grave in Los Angeles. That wasn't unusual for a woman born into slavery, but it was remarkable for someone as accomplished as Biddy. After winning her freedom in a court battle in 1856, she combined her nursing skills with wise business decisions to make a small fortune. As she observed the plight of immigrants and prisoners, she reached out to them, investing in charity so frequently that people began lining up at her house for help. In 1872, just 16 years out of slavery, she and her son-in-law financed the founding of the first African Methodist Episcopal Church in Los Angeles. Biddy embodied the Apostle Paul's words, I showed you that by this kind of hard work we must help the weak, remembering the words the Lord Jesus himself said, It is more blessed to give than receive. Paul came from privilege, not slavery, yet he chose a life that would lead to his imprisonment and martyrdom so that he could serve Christ and others. In 1988, benefactors unveiled a tombstone for Biddy Mason. In attendance were the mayor of Los Angeles and nearly 3,000 members of the little church that had begun in her home over a century earlier. Biddy once said, The opened hand is blessed, for it gives in abundance even as it receives. The hand that gave so generously received a rich legacy. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Acts chapter 20, verses 22-35. And now, compelled by the Spirit, I am going to Jerusalem, not knowing what will happen to me there. I only know that in every city the Holy Spirit warns me that prison and hardships are facing me. However, I consider my life worth nothing to me. My only aim is to finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me, the task of testifying to the good news of God's grace. Now I know that none of you among whom I have gone about preaching the kingdom will ever see me again. Therefore, I declare to you today that I am innocent of the blood of any of you. For I have not hesitated to proclaim to you the whole will of God. Keep watch over yourselves and all the flock of which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers. Be shepherds of the church of God, which he bought with his own blood. I know that after I leave, savage wolves will come in among you and will not spare the flock. Even from your own number, men will arise and distort the truth in order to draw away disciples after them. So be on your guard. Remember that for three years I never stopped warning each of you night and day with tears. Now I commit you to God and to the word of his grace, which can build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified. I have not coveted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You yourselves know that these hands of mine have supplied my own needs and the needs of my companions. In everything I did, I showed you that by this kind of hard work, we must help the weak, remembering the words the Lord Jesus himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. That's today's scripture reading from Acts chapter 20, verses 22 through 35. And now let's pray together. Dear Lord, may we remember that it truly is more blessed to give than receive. Help us cultivate a generous spirit and a desire to help those around us. We open our hands and our hearts to you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.